Hi everyone, welcome back to Missy's Enchanted channel. I'm going to be doing a reading with my Whispers of Love Oracle deck. Yes, let's see what they have to tell us today. So yeah, just going to shuffle them up really good. I wish these were a little bit smaller because they're so hard to shuffle them. You can't even do this either. It's like so hard. <laughs> Why? God, you can't even riffle shuffle them. But that's okay. I still like them. The artwork on these are so pretty. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more, pick a couple of cards, see what they have to tell us. What do you have to tell us about love this week? Well, love is in the air. <laughs> All right, let's pick a couple more. That's it. Let's see what these got to say. All right, let's put these here. All right, we have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. All right, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Isn't that the fact? True love. This love is once in a lifetime. Don't worry, I'll explain it further as I go. I just want to read them right now. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. All right, so the first card that we have right now is treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. So it's basically just telling you that, you know, your family, friends, you know, treasure them. Because you know what? You never know what's going to happen from day to day. So tell them how much you love them. Tell them you like spending time with them. Because you just never ever know. You know? So don't forget to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright. The second card. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Sometimes... Look at this card, it's pretty. Sometimes with love, you know, you have to have patience because, you know, you know how it is. You know, sometimes love just weighs on you and, you know, it's a work in progress, put it that way. And you just need patience to, you know, find the thing that clicks. You know, you just have to work with each other and always be patient and kind with each other. So that's... Which trying to tell you. All right. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. Sometimes you find that right person that's supposed to be with you. Heart, body, and soul. So it's definitely your true love. So it's just saying that if you're with the one that you love, it's going to be true love. <laughs> but if you haven't found it, it's definitely worth the wait. So remember that. Uh, we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Isn't that true? I'm going to read this one quickly. Because I'm curious to see what they have to say about this card. And that one is 11. All right. The angels are asking you to dig deep inside your inner self. The strength is in you. Though it may not feel like it right now, you will be able to push through this. Believe in yourself and know you already have the power you need within you. When you are in a state of empowerment, you can live from a natural state of peace. Being stressed or afraid is not a natural way of living. Try to figure out what is challenging you and disconnect from whatever is creating stress. Establish boundaries and take back your personal power. 
This is an ideal time to develop a new way of thinking. What has been dominating your thoughts? Are you caught up in old patterns? You have control over your feelings. Remind yourself that you have the inner strength to tackle whatever you are currently facing. A crowned goddess is holding a delicate and translucent ball in her hands. At the center of the ball, there is a solidary female. This may refer to feeling small or blocked. The emphasis of the goddess crown symbolizes higher knowing. You have more power than you realize. Believe in your inner strength. That is so true. Always believe in yourself because when you believe in yourself, you can get anything accomplished. Anything. Trust me. It's when you have doubts that, you know, things don't really get done because you're always second guessing yourself and you know how it goes, right? All right. The last card we have new love. Embrace an opportunity for loving your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. This can be anything. This could be a new love in careers. Definitely relationships. And you know how new love is. It's exciting. It's new. It's something to look forward to and everything. So whether it's work, whether it's a new hobby or something, or a new relationship. So this is definitely going to bring you some happiness, some excitement and everything. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to pick a... Let's pick an angel card, too, along with the relationship. If I can find one. All right. I'm just going to shuffle these really quickly and just see what comes out. What do you have to tell us, angels? All right. Let's pick this one. Wisdom. Knowledge is learnt, but wisdom is the divine prompting within you. Your angel guidance is to connect to your still, quiet center and listen to the wisdom of your soul. Then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self. With wisdom, life takes on a new perspective as dramas and fears become insignificant in comparison with the magnificence of the overall picture. Walk your path in life as one of the wise ones and all will revere and respect you. And the affirmation is, I listen to my wisdom. So that's so true. Whether it's wisdom in relationships, wisdom in love, or things that you want to get accomplished or whatever. You have the wisdom to do what you want. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little reading. And I'll definitely talk to you guys in a couple of days. So stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe. Have fun and keep smiling. And if you want, you can share. Be part of the family, guys. Love to have you. Bye. Mwah. See you later.